Assalamu alaikum. What's up, everybody? Here's Ahmad Nasser from Mysterio 07. Welcome to this tutorial about sharing variables between threads. This is a very important tutorial and it's gonna help you a lot in threadings, especially in Java. You can subscribe to the channel and you can join us on Facebook. You're more than welcome. Okay. In order to describe to you the process of sharing variables between threads, we're gonna take two methodologies. The first one is using object. We're gonna share object. So we're gonna create a global object, let's say sum. And let me just run this for you and see what we're gonna implement here. We're gonna run separate threads, okay? So we're gonna run, run a process using a thread okay so let me just explain that for you let's run this it say please enter the upper limit for the summation for example if you need to enter summation from 1 to 10 from 0 to 10 you just enter to 10 and the summation process is going to be 0 plus 1 plus 2 and you know just keep adding keep adding until reach the upper limit which is 10 so for example if you enter 3 you should get 6 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. So let's enter for example 3. We have 6 here. So this is uh, the method that we're going to run on the server thread. Okay. So I have two methodologies here. The first one is using a thready class and the other one is using driver. Uh, driver basically we have a Two methodolo two methodologies. I'm sorry. Two methodologies. The first one is using the global object, and the other one is using inside a thread. So if you go to the thready, let me just copy. Um, let me just copy this upper copy go driver. Just a uh, okay. Forget about forget about this right now. Wait a minute. Okay delete this okay, we want to take it from the G option bane so uh, let me just get G option bane string G option bane okay driver okay you need to import the G option bane okay thread this is must be delete this for now okay so this is the same, two methods do the same thing. If you go here and say three, you will get six also. But two different methodologies. In this in the first one, let's begin with a driver. In driver, we just define a summation class that has a an integer sum, and we just set the setter and the getter for this uh sum. We go down to the summation uh, uh class, we implement the runnable because we need the run method. Okay, when we go and uh, put this runnable class inside the thread we call the star method we're gonna run the run method so it has a, an upper and a sum value which is a, an object from the type sum uh, we just define the constructor upper and sum and if we get less than zero we throw an exception if not we just define the upper and the sum uh, we this is this is the important bar the run method they're gonna execute the thread so we have a the run method it has a sum equals zero initially we just take from zero to the upper and keep adding adding until we reach the upper and finally we just say okay we get the sum object and set the sum this to inside the sum object uh, we call this sum object in the driver so after we finish executing the thread we just call sum object dot get this is the sum object okay sum object equal new sum and we're gonna move it inside the the this you know the summation okay we're gonna move it inside the summation and the summation is inside the thread and this is the runnable class inside the thread so we call this thread we call the run method by using worker dot start and we do all the stuff keep adding keep adding and finally modify the value inside this object and take it here so that's why when we run the driver we will get for example 19 we get 190 
and we just put this okay you can delete this and it's gonna work fine just go okay say 19 so you get zero okay sometimes if you put a uh, small value like but uh, 2 you get also zero okay because uh, you go to the other one let me just test this because it didn't test this but join method let me just tell you what is the main functionality of the join method just say 3 so it gets zero so it's very important because you just wait the whole program is gonna wait until you finish execution executing the thread so we will finish all the other stuff interrupt down here we will finish all the stuff until we finish with a thread so until the the state of the thread is is uh, is ready uh, is finished you know so if we go worker to join uh, you go is alive why is alive equal false okay you gonna display this uh, result here that's why we got zero when we delete them if it's very important to keep it up okay so just go three you get six here everything is fine this is the first methodology when you want to share object among the thread we are using a global object and this we put this a global object into the runnable class and we just call this object in the driver pass it to the runnable class and call the thread using the worker to start we just call the run method this is the first methodology and we notice that the important the importance of join here just to wait until the fi the thread is finished and we just gonna execute the later code this is the first thing other method we, you know which is my favorite is using uh, using the extending the thread class so I just create a, created an extended class for for the super class uh, 3d instead of thread I just named it 3d 3d gonna extend the thread it takes a static uh, sum okay just we I uh, just give it a static sum we say the upper here inside the you know inside the 3d we just get the integer upper okay and uh, we just say this to, you know and continue and this is the important part of the thread uh, run the thread because we don't gonna we're not gonna use uh, runnable class we just want to use directly the thread so uh, in this example uh, we just you know say okay we start from zero and the same thing we just say this the sum equal this sum okay and we just continue and after that we just you know uh, the same thing we just put upper we just give it the upper and it automatically it's gonna calculate it and we just say 3d the sum needy you know calling the static uh, the static uh, variable or value the other way uh, you can use this on uh, the 3d here forget about static variable or static value here uh, we can uh, say okay just need also in sum and I need to say okay this is the sum equals sum here and you just go here okay and upper and we need to enter the sum so let's say okay it's first it's zero okay and after that okay system l we need to call an object so instead of using the static we need to use the worker so worker to sum let me check this ready right three uh, we got we got the same result okay so it, three different approach you can use here but this is the same result okay we use the global object in Java and we use the passing parameter directly toward the thread using extending object oriented inheritance okay so this is a a good way of sharing the variables data among threads I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Stereo 007 at YouTube, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.